In this video, we'll take a message sent in via WhatsApp that looks like this and translate it into a message that looks like this by passing it through an emoji translator. We'll use code from a blog post written by Phil Nash that uses an NPM module called Moji Translate that takes a string of text in and replaces some words with some common emoji. We'll start in the programmable SMS section of the Twilio console and head down to the WhatsApp beta. In a previous video, we showed you how to set up the Twilio sandbox. That video is appearing in the card above or in the description below if you want to get there and set that up before continuing on with this video. We're going to replace the a message comes in webhook with the URL to a Twilio function that we'll go create right now. Head to the runtime section inside of the Twilio console and you'll find it underneath developer tools. Once you're there, you want to go down to the configure section. The first thing I'm going to turn on here is to enable the account SID and auth token. We don't need it for this particular video, but it might come in handy in future videos. Click the plus here to add a new row of dependencies. We're going to add the Moji Translate module here and give it the version number of 1.0.8, which is the current version. Once you have that in there, hit save and head back up to the manage section of functions where we can create a new Twilio function. I'm going to start with the hello SMS template. You can start with blank as well. I just like to see some code in the function. Here we're going to give the function a name of emoji translations and a path of emoji translate. And then down in the function, we'll just replace this code. The first thing we need here is to require the emoji translate module, and we'll save that out into the translate variable. And then we also need the incoming body. That's the text message that was sent in via WhatsApp. We'll grab that out of event.body. And then we'll translate that incoming body using the translate function that we required from Moji Translate, passing in the incoming body for the message. Now all we need to do is create a Twilio response object and return it in the callback. So we'll use twilio.twiml.messagingResponse and set its message to the translated body. And then we'll call our callback from our Twilio function to return the translated body out in the response message. Once that code's written, hit save, and we can head back over to our programmable SMS, taking that URL with us. Make sure you hit that copy button before you continue. Head back over to programmable SMS, go into WhatsApp, and scroll back down to where a message comes in was located, replace the default URL that was there for the sandbox with your Twilio function, and hit save. One new thing since we set up the Twilio sandbox for WhatsApp last time, there is now a QR code to make it easier to join the sandbox. So I'll show you how that works here, where you can see that you can join the sandbox. There's a QR code. I'll pull my phone out and scan that in and head to the link that it corresponds to. It just populates the join message for the sandbox number uh, and joins us up to the sandbox. So awesome. Now all I need to do is send a message to our application. I'll say, hi everyone, hope you've enjoyed this video about translating emoji in WhatsApp. And there we get a response with emoji in the message. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the subscribe button over on the left. If you want to watch another video, I picked one out just for you in the top right. And if you're looking for the code, there's a button in the bottom right for that. Until next time, I'm out of here.